Okay, everybody, let's get started with the items I bought last year. 101 items on Amazon. The first one was December 31st. Hasn't arrived yet. It's something to clean teeth. It's an ultrasonic teeth cleaner, and it was only $34. Considering how expensive it is to have your teeth cleaned at the dentist, I thought it was an interesting item to purchase. I'll have, I'll have more information about it once it comes. Second item is I've been successfully raising the level of vitamin D I have in my body for the last two years. However, only in the last year did I realize or find out you should have vitamin K to if you're taking large amounts of D. So I looked at the different ones and this for me, for my purposes, this was the best one to purchase. This is Japanese soup. It's miso soup, something I've never had before. But I've become more interested in the food that people eat in Japan. And I thought I would give this a try. It's actually rather good. I'm going to purchase it again. The aroma has a little bit of an iodine smell to it because the the uh, sauce is made, I think, from fish. However, it only has 20 calories. The uh, When you make it, it doesn't look like the package. You don't have as many vegetables and so on in your bowl as it says in uh, by looking at these, these pictures, but it has very interesting flavor, and uh, it's sort of like if you have a bouillon, like sometimes people get ill and they have a bouillon broth, and this makes a small bowl about the same size as a bouillon cube would make, but you have much more flavor, and you have some little ingredients that make it more pleasant and interesting to eat. Um, it's It's a it's something that I, I'm glad I purchased. I'm going to buy again. I take magnesium, but I was taking uh, magnesium oxide. I found out that the glycinate, the magnesium glycinate, is absorbed by your body much easier and in larger quantities than the magnesium oxide. So I thought, well, why not give it a shot? I thought about that. <laughs> why not giving this a shot with a shotgun? <laughs> it was... This is a love-hate relationship with the Insta360. I, I returned the first one because it kept freezing on me. Now this one, it's it's a stopping uh, recording, but it may because when I, I, I use it, I have had the uh, the audio control function on, so maybe it was thinking I was asking it to stop the recording. So I've turned it off, and we're going to see what happens. If it starts continues to stop the recording while I'm using it, I'm going to have to return it and just give up on the Insta360. But it's a very interesting camera, and I like when it does work. I think it's wonderful. If you guys have been watching my videos, you watched Uncle Ricky do the review of this popcorn popper. You don't need to know any more information from me about this. This is a very interesting product. 18 packets, like six or seven bucks. It makes very interesting meals, and it's very easy to add on to it mushrooms and uh, broccoli and other things to make a nice little lunch snack. Very inexpensively, very, very quickly. I've only purchased these 14 times, so I don't know if you uh, really can tell if I like them or not. So, <laughs> blueberries, four pound box. Yeah, I love these things. This is something to help me attach my microphone to my camera, to my tripod, and so on. Um, if you're ever trying to do something with the camera and not something isn't working, and you just plug in the words uh, converter or adopter and you would be surprised at what you'll find to help you out to get you going again. I read some articles a few years ago on the health benefits of mushrooms for the brain and I figure I need all the help I can get. So anytime I find them on Amazon when they're cheaper than Walmart, I buy them. The problem with Walmart is oftentimes they don't have very many. And if you try to purchase them, like for home delivery, they'll only like purchase like four at a time is the maximum. Where I can buy cases on Amazon. This I, I only have tried once. I didn't really like it too much. I'm going to try it again because it was expensive. And uh, I don't want to you know give up on it. But it, the first time I tried it, it just wasn't doing anything for me. And I uh, was kind of... August and Farms, actually, I've purchased other things from them, and I liked it. But this one, so far, I haven't liked. This is one of the better things I bought last year. A Christmas card, 126 bucks. The paper envelopes that the cards go in is very uh, 
uh, thick, uh, high quality paper. When you write on it, you can tell it's very nice. And now uh, the cards themselves look even better than they do in this photo. This photo doesn't do them justice. They have a lot of foil and so on. They're very nice, rich looking, expensive cards for 26 cents. It's like one of the better things I bought last year. This, I swear to God, is not pink when I purchased it. I bought a white one. <laughs> but when I, I plugged in uh, my uh, I purchased so-and-so, this is what shows up. So I did not buy a pink one. I bought a white one. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a video just to show you that I did not buy this that I have. And what this is is a chair that you can use. Like If you've ever seen those old pack rafts where you inflate them by just... Um, opening up the one end and, and uh, running around and, and, and with it to fill it up with air. It has like a thing on the back of it right here that opens up like a funnel. And what you do is uh, once you fill up with air, you, you fold it up. And it, uh, some of the people that left ratings didn't realize it. They said it didn't come with a pump and they're really pissed. But you, you open this up and you, you, you twirl around and in circles make a fool of yourself. And you fill up with air and then you, you, you uh, tighten this up and then you can sit on it. Um, the reason I got this, it only weighs a few ounces and uh, it'd be perfect to go someplace when you're fishing or out the beach or whatever and you want a chair. And I'm getting older. I don't like lugging a lot of heavy things. So this is the lightest chair I could find. Um, but it's not pink. Uh. <laughs> uh. This is uh, a, a shower mirror I got for Uncle Ricky because he's going to be doing a do-it-yourself video pretty soon. And <laughs> you've been warned. So uh, this will be interesting. This is one of the cooler things I bought, but I haven't used it yet. It's a plastic welder. And uh, over the years, I've welded plastic. What I do, I just take a butter knife and put it over the stove, heat it up, and then I use it on the plastic. And this is something we have little staples that you can reinforce the plastic. It's a really cool device. I want to do some videos on it. I've been making videos that to go over like many different things and I find when I write them on the whiteboard they help the video and me make them better so this has been a good purchase. A lot of times when people buy things or on, on Amazon they use the links that I provide I get a few cents here and there from Amazon and they enable me to buy things like the things you're seeing today in this video. So a lot of these things that I've, I've bought in this video I end up making videos about for you guys. This is a little spiral rod holder. Some places where I go fishing, there's no place to put my rod, to put lay it on the ground. You can push this into the ground and put your rod in. It's kind of cool. The other thing cool about this is because I have a bike rack on the back of my bike, I can attach this to the rack and then just put the rod in the holder so it will attach to my bicycle. So this is my pepper spray I keep on me at all times. They're like 12 years old. And uh, I figure it's time to get another one, just in case. Everybody should have pepper spray. There's hardly any bad stories in the news that cannot be improved by the appropriate timely use of this product. <laughs> um, this is a uh, connector, converter. What I was talking about earlier, anytime you have an issue with uh, electronics, uh, acoustics, audio, video, digital, whatever, see if they have a connector, converter, adopter, whatever. You'd be surprised what they got available to help you uh, do what you want to do. I have a little eBay business for years and I purchase these ever so often to send my products to the mail. These are excellent envelopes. The little uh, glued things on the back, the paper just peels off. You can use them very quickly. They're very sturdy. They don't weigh too much for postage and they get the job done. This is one of the I'm, I didn't like this at all. I, I did a video about it. It was like I the resolution, it says 4K, it's garbage. But it's got thousands of positive ratings. People seem to be happy with it. But I would never buy or recommend this to anybody. It's uh, For even at 50, 60 bucks, it just wasn't doing the job for me. Um, I didn't send it back because I want to do some underwater video that could be risky. And I didn't want to risk my other cameras. So... Um, these little journals, you can put them in your pocket and they don't fall apart or, uh, you know, like other type of uh, notepads do. And it's, the paper is kind of thick. It's heavy duty. You get two of them for 10 bucks. And you can make little schedules and all sorts of things and carry it around with you. Um, 
I have parsley dried uh, almost every every day in something one of the meals I make and uh, parsley is one of the most nutrient dense by weight of anything you can buy to eat it's uh, got a lot going for it if you like to fish this is uh, I did a lot of I can't believe all that research and time I spent looking into this this was the best highest rated lowest priced fishing line I could find and it seems to be a very good quality line if you do fishing look check out the Zebco brand um, I was surprised it's it, compared to some of the others it's uh, quite a bit cheaper this <laughs> I have for some reason I have a, a disdain or, or a, a hesitancy to use a wireless mouse because I've just got so many wireless things going on in the house I just feel uncomfortable about having so many wireless signals going through the house and you know so I just keep keep a, a wired mouse to my computer and Logitech makes some of the best stuff out there um, for, for low prices. Um, I make deviled eggs every year for the last 20 or 30 years and I finally last year purchased one of these two for 10 bucks you get two little uh, uh, containers to hold eggs works fine it uh, gives a good presentation to your eggs this I like to wear shoes without socks but I'm finding I'm getting little sores on my feet and now if I go places in the water sometimes you get microbes and things in your sores and they don't heal right so I try to wear socks but I don't like the socks to stick up <laughs> like a dork so um, so these uh, are rather good quality and uh, they're not too cheap but you think of it is when you wear them you don't see the sock so uh, you uh, you're making a fashion statement <laughs> uh, next I purchased these and I used one and a couple of times I put in some a chicken old chicken uh, drumstick and I the second time I I tied it up tight inside the bait thing when I came back the chicken was gone <laughs> both times I don't know what's going on so there's something getting into my trap and taking the chicken even though I tied it up so um, I have to figure it out but there doesn't seem to be any crawdads in my my uh, canal um, I think probably the snakeheads ate them all so uh, there's just turtles and, and catfish but I recommend these for the price they were like uh, mine I got them for 20 bucks 10 bucks a piece and they fold I did a video on them you could check it out this McCormick Italian seasoning it makes a lot of stuff taste a lot better and it's a very good quality it's a tiny bit more expensive than some of the other brands but it's worth it I liked it a lot if you use gallon grow bags I bought these because it has little handles I'm going to be putting the plants down in the riverbank up, up from up above just lowering them down with the fishing line and then later on I can I can lower them back up onto the bank and I can use handles tie something on to make a loop and that way I can grow stuff down at the riverbank because I can't grow anything any place else <laughs> this I've tried over the years so many different ways to make sprouts and this I thought was going to be the answer because the first time I made some mung beans it worked perfect but then the second or third time I got the mold and it's disheartening uh, but I did have to uh, take it apart and remove some rocks that were inside they use as weights because I just didn't feel comfortable about having rocks from China inside this container so uh, they don't have it available anymore I don't know why but uh, it, the design is kind of cool and it actually did work but I think you have to be in an environment that's not as moist and humid as where I'm living at I have bought these many times and I have bought them at the dollar store bought them at Walmart I've got a lot of videos on macro I think I'm going to make a video soon about 20 different ways you can make uh, cook uh, canned macro there's a lot of uh, things you can do with this once you learn how to cook it it's probably the least expensive uh, animal protein you can purchase but it's gone up in price quite a bit it's getting close to the price of the uh, pink salmon which is the, the least expensive salmon these I don't recommend them for the flavor but since I started using them I don't wake up at night and pee anymore so there you go maybe too much information but <laughs> cranberries 
Um, I just soak them a little spoonful with my other berries and my omelet powder, and the next night I just blend, blend them up. If you mess around with little inflatables, you probably want to eventually get an electric pump. This is one you can use at home with a DC charger, or you can use in your car. This has worked out very well. This is a three-man inflatable for about 30 bucks. I wouldn't spend more than this because they come down in price eventually. But once you get in it, it's very stable and relatively safe. It's difficult to get in and get out. The trick is, is if you're next to a pier or a dock or something, you can use a little line and tie it to it. So when you get in or get out, this is uh, secure. It doesn't go in or out or flip over. Or you can put the oars on the bank and put the oars on top of the boat and use them to stabilize. Um, if you don't have a, 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 a way to use the oars in, uh, on the bank, and if you don't have a dock, if you have a little anchor you can throw out to shore and then use the anchor and tie it to your oar lock and snug it up against the shore and use it because it's difficult to get in and out without looking like an idiot um, when uh, you don't have it secured, uh, tied off. But uh, they row very well. They're surprisingly comfortable. Once you're in them, they're very stable. Um, and when you remove the air, they take up so little space, you could put them probably under the back seat of your car. So you can, in certain places, the right places, right conditions, with the right skills, you can have an uh, unbelievable amount of fun for such a small price. And they're easy to repair if you get the little small pinholes and so on. Don't put a lot of weight in the uh, bottom here in one spot because you can uh, pull the seam out. Um, so you want to spread out your weight if you can. I'll, I've done some videos on this you could check out. These are little D-rings you can attach to increase the u utility of the inflatables. And this is the glue that is very inexpensive you can use to put on there. The other ones cost a lot more. I purchased this book on Amazon. The cool thing about Amazon, you get books at very, very low price used. I'm not con I'm not sold on the Okinawa program because the the people they use in the program, a lot of them were alive during the Second World War and they didn't have a lot of calories and that kind of skewed their results. And also if you go to Okinawa now, the people aren't using the diet too much anymore and their obesity and other illnesses are, are not that great. So um, they didn't keep up with the diet. So it's just, I'm not, there's interesting things in the book, but um, you want to do some more research. Another example of a book you can get for a dollar, if you're doing any type of exercise, it's good to use a heart monitor to know where you stand. Um, I purchased this to seal jars. It did not work on my jars, and I should have sent it back. One Minute Workout, another book I recommend. It was like a buck or two. Um, to uh, get it used. I bought, I purchased these seeds. Every single pack of seeds I used germinated extremely well. My problem is I have almost no place to grow anything. Uh, I don't know why I was I was torturing myself to purchasing these seeds. <laughs> but uh, very good price. Very good price. Very good quality. Um, I would look into it. Zippo, if you look on YouTube, there's 14,000 videos on how to make fires with sticks and, and all sorts of things. And I'm a Zippo man. <laughs> I'm not a real prepper. I can't make fire with a stick. But I do know where my, my Bic lighters are or where my Zippo is and my f fluid and all of my flints. So uh, anytime you can get it for $1.97. Uh, by the way, this man's hand is very small. <laughs> I purchased this wireless microphone for about 30 bucks. You can get them similar quality on AliExpress for about 10. I see they want $49. No, I don't know. I don't I wouldn't do that. Um, check out AliExpress. But uh there for for the phone, they work very well. I had to get a different phone or an, an additional phone prior program to get my phone to use the wireless mic my, I mic I used the uh app called Open Camera. I did a video on it. More, more mushrooms you can never have. These are wonderful size. A little more expensive, but perfect meal size. 
Sugu, you can't have enough sugu. If you don't open and seal it correctly, eventually it'll harden up just like any adhesive. The secret with sugu is when you're putting on your shoe, let it harden and don't take a paper towel trying to smear it off because it'll just get everywhere. Just let it get hard and take a razor blade exacto knife and cut off any part that sticks out. Years ago, I did not have much luck with rechargeable batteries, so for years I didn't pay them any attention, but I got more interested in them in the last couple of years, and they're very good. The quality is much better. These are some of the better ones you can get. Panasonic and Loop, I think they're some of the best ones you can get. This is a very good quality sunflower seed. Um, I was trying to get better or similar quality lower prices at Walmart. I couldn't find it. This was uh, this is a good this is a good buy. Seven forty nine for for over two pounds. I did a video on these balls. You know you can go see the video. They're very uh, excellent little handball, and you get a lot of bounce in them, and, and it's good for a uh, little exercise program if you have a place to use them. This is a kite winder. Why did I buy a kite winder? Because I bought this. I did a video on. <laughs> it's rather big, rather fun. Uh, octopus kite for ten bucks. It it uh, anybody in the world can fly it. If you have a little bit of breeze, to a large amount of breeze, it wants to fly all by itself, and it, it's not temperamental. It's very fun for the whole family. I have used the uh, ring lure. Uh, pliers before and had to throw them away. It didn't work. I tried one more time on this one. It works perfect. And for nine bucks, and uh, you get all the O rings. If you like to make your own lures, I had given up and I was making my lures by just attaching stuff with little pieces of wire. <laughs> Stone Age. This is my wireless mouse that I still haven't used. It's in the box somewhere because I just said, nah, I think I'll use the wire. I did a review on this. It's a really good little gadget to hook up your phone so you can do videos in your car. A lot of the videos or things I bought the last year are things to help me make better videos on YouTube. This is something I should have sent back. I purchased it to see the back of my phone when I was doing a video because you get a better video quality with the lens on the front. and. Uh, I wanted to see what was going on in the back and it just didn't work out too well. Um, it was kind of expensive for what it was. Although it is very well made. E extremely well made. I purchased this to do some chemistry recipe videos for making some home made formulas and I did not get around to it. I need to do that. I've got a lot of video ideas I could make on uh, chemistry, home chemistry things and I just haven't done it. I need to get off the Start ta stop talking about it and do it. This is something I had trouble with my car. I didn't know that it existed. It's a uh, device to help you find shorts, but it was raining really hard for several days when it came, and I just gave up and went to the mechanic. But it, I, I still have it. I don't know if it works, <laughs> but I didn't know they existed either. So this seemed to be a good quality one and very low price. For electrical problems for cars, cost you a fortune. So if this helps out, check out the reviews. This, when I go on trips, I like to have things I can fix the car. This was recommended as something work on plumbing repair or radiator hose. If you have a radiator hose that leaks, you can uh, put tape over it, then and like fishing line and some more tape and then some more tape. And you can make layers of stuff and actually fix your hose to get you going to where you can get home to where you get another hose. I have a person that I watch on YouTube. He has a channel. I think it's Papa Boucher. He does a lot of indoor vegetable gardening, and he recommended these to me. A, a very, very small, tiny tomato plant that does very well indoors. And it's growing very well in the balcony, but it's growing very slow. And we'll see what happens. If you have cars and you're going to work on them and they're old, eventually you're going to have to take off the the hoses and it's good to have a specialized tool so you don't break your knuckles and your fingers and scrape up your hand and start throwing things around because those hose clamps are they can be pretty devilish sometimes if you're changing the fluid in your radiator it's good to have one of these gadgets they're very inexpensive I purchased this to 
help me get in better shape. I use it for a little while and I quit. I need to do it again. It's something to attach to the door that you can do exercise. It's a fitness band. I pay $10 for mine. I recommend you don't buy this one. You do a search. There's probably a hundred for sale. Find one that's on sale for $10. They're all the same. And then just get that. And you, uh, they're very effective if you use them. I made a video about a tarp that I turned into a beach tent at Blue and it works very well, very inexpensive. But it's hot. The color blue, it holds the heat and uh, in the summertime I wanted something to reflect. So I painted it and I didn't do a very good job. I didn't clean it well enough and all the paint's peeling off. It looks terrible so I can't take it to the beach. So I purchased this to make my beach tent. By the way, you can never have too many tarps. This is something I bought from my prepping supplies and just today I was looking around for something I could put on a hand. I have a uh, something on my hand that's been hurting for a few days and I couldn't find this but I found another gel that I had forgotten about that I had bought years before I bought this one. <laughs> so yeah I've got two things of gel for, for uh, analgesics here at the house. I don't know what's wrong with me. But uh, yeah, it's good to have something like this, topical analgesic. I made a video on these uh, Brita water filters. I think everybody should have a water filter appropriate for the type of water they have. And uh, they're a bargain. This, I wanted to digitize all of my thousands of photos. This was rated very highly. It's a photo scanner plus tech. It does uh, 300 DPI and 600 DPI. When I purchased it, I found out that when I s scanned at 600 DPI dots per inch, the quality was almost no difference from the 300. And so it made me feel like uh, it wasn't doing a very good job. But people seem to be happy with the results. I could not find anything to go faster. It's extremely fast. It's extremely simple. You could train your seven-year-old to scan your photos for you. It's that quick. It only does batches of 50 at a time. You have to stop and then um, file, save the file on your computer and then start again. But uh, it also has a little uh, program that comes with it that helps you uh, adjust the quality of your photos if you have something that's really old and faded. So that's a rather good program. So uh, it's good, but I think I, sh I should have called the company and asked them if there was a problem that uh, or something they could help me with to, to increase the quality. But uh, very, very quick. And oh, in the end, people seem to be happy, but I, I really wasn't. I thought it could have done a better job. I make a lot of food videos and I wanted something colorful and I can't find anything more colorful. Than this. So if you put the right food in this dish, it just makes the food look so much better. And presentation of food when you're eating it is just kind of important. This, <laughs> there's a woman on YouTube. I'm always trying to come up with different things because I have a variety channel that I could do to make videos to be more popular and get more views. She makes cardboard uh, ocean liners and sinks them on her pond. It's a Chloe cowboy, cow, cowgirl Chloe, whatever. She gets millions of views on her videos. I think I have water, I have cardboard, I could make little ships, I could sink them. What could I be different? Well, how could I make my videos different from hers? I thought, well, what if I did them at night? I could put lights inside. So this was to put lights inside the cardboard ships I was going to be sinking, but I never did it. I figured I don't want to become the cardboard ship sinking video channel, but uh, I do think some of her videos are kind of fun. She does an excellent job and deserves all the views she gets. And there's a lot of people trying to copy her, but uh, they don't do it good as, as, as good as she does, though. Um, but I've used this for a couple other things, and they're, uh, it's a kind of interesting little gadget. If you are into prepping, it's good to have other means of illumination. And the Dietz burning, oil burning lantern, kerosene lanterns are, are some of the best quality ones. You can get the similar ones at Walmart for much cheaper, but the quality is less. 
I did a video on this. It's a door draft stopper under door seal gadget and it works very good. It's one of the easiest things that I've ever used um, and it does a very good job. And I think it's going to last longer than the little tube socks that I used to purchase that would go under and eventually the fabric would wear out. So I think it's a good buy. This is so just a window for the bathroom but I had to glue the top in because my bathroom, the top here, the, the screws wouldn't, uh, uh, there wasn't anything for the screws to, to go into. The the wood was made out of some sort of a, oh, like a sheetrock or something. It just wasn't working. So I glued, I glued, I glued it in. <laughs> I've sort of not given up bread, but I don't eat it that often. Usually I have tortillas and I was wanting a way to make my own. And I thought I would invest in this it's very good quality, should last forever. I buy this on Amazon, but I do think the chia seeds may have a lower price uh, at Walmart. And I basically just use them in the shake that I make every evening that I soak for 24 hours. If you have any children, you definitely need them to learn how to swim, no matter where they live, especially here in South Florida. And I did some research. This was one of the best books I found on teaching kids to learn how to swim. You can get them used for two bucks. Super, super bargain. I have an ancient window fan that uh, I think its brand name is Holmes. Bought for like 15 bucks 20 years ago. And I think it ran for 10 years straight when I had my dog here. And uh, I, th I know it was time to get a, a replacement just in case it, because it's starting to, to it's eventually it's going to wear out, and so I said, better get a replacement, and so this is the best I could find. Hurricane box fan. It's kind of noisy. This is something I use a lot because when I was sitting at the desk to do videos, my legs would start to have pain. So um, the doctor couldn't help me, so I gave up sitting at my desk to do my videos. So I just purchased a little desk, put it over my bed, put my computer monitor on it and my keyboard, so now I can do stuff in bed. <laughs> That's what she said. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so it's, it's kind of expensive. I bought it like $40, $49. But um, it's been an uh, excellent, excellent little uh, deal. In fact, I use Windows, or Dragon Naturally Speaking, to help me um, transfer my speech into text so I can actually do a lot of stuff where I don't even have to use a keyboard sitting in bed. This was an interesting book about a guy when he graduated college. He had his friends drop him off in a small town. He didn't know anybody. and He uh, tried to see if at the end of the year he could have a full-time job, a car, an apartment, and $1,000 in the bank. And uh, It just goes over the stuff that happened to him in a year. Working day labor and all the minimal, uh, menial, manual jobs he had. So it was kind of an interesting book. This is a crazy, crazy price. I bought this for like three or four dollars, but it's if you have a really old car like I do, it's a good thing to have. It lubes up your water pump and your radiator and so on. Very good product, but you you don't want to spend twenty nine dollars. You can get I think there's a another company that makes one that, that it's got farm something in their name, like farm equipment or whatever, and it, very similar. When other companies make them similar. And they work for moving up your water pump and your radiator and uh, anti-rust. They're like three or four dollars. Don't spend twice. That's in, that's insane price. I use melatonin for different reasons. I've tried different ones. This is my favorite brand, and not because it has a taste of strawberries. It just seems it works better. I get the five milligram and I cut them in half, and use it as a two and a half milligram. I did a video on the cod liver oil. I eat it every day with a spoonful of peanut butter first. It has no taste, and uh, I recommend it highly. If you work or play around with little uh, inflatables, it's good to have something to seal leaks. This is probably the best thing I've found out there. You can use the clear Corella tape, but it doesn't work as long or as good as this. If you're making things to use around salt water or any type of water, it's good to have stainless. These are really handy little gadgets to uh, make things out of wood and stainless. Same here, it's good to have stainless hardware, uh, bolts, assortment of fasteners, and so on. 
I know people, they all the time, they talk about stocking up on silver and gold. Well, you you need to add in stainless steel, too, <laughs> if you're going to get stuff done. These are excellent, excellent, inexpensive microphones. This brand, Pop Voice, I've used them several times and I've always been pleased. They're not, they're not, they're not perfect. They're not top of the line, but for the price, they do an excellent job. Everybody has cases for their phone. The thing about this, I like to have a really bright, odd color. That way it's easy to find my phone if I can't find it. I use ginger a lot in drinking water to give it a little flavor and it's a lot cheaper to buy this, put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. I did several videos on this little radio. It's got an mp3 player. You can use it for so many things. I think I'm going to do a video on it, how you can make your own affirmation tapes or sleep learning tapes or uh, hypno hypnosis tapes or whatever because it has a function where it will repeat a, a uh, recording or it will just re uh, play for a certain amount of time and stop. So you could put this under your pillow at night and use it to do things while you're sleeping. So a very interesting little radio. But if you wait, they usually go down in price. I purchased mine for like 15, 16 bucks several times. These sardines, Chicken of the Sea, they're excellent. One of the better sardines you can get for the price. In fact, I'm going to do a video on them comparing them to King Oscar, which I think are probably the best ones you can get, but they're a lot more expensive. These are with the olive oil. Successful time management. Earlier in the year, I was going to do a book on how to save time, different things. And um, After looking into it, I don't think there will be that many people interested, so I didn't want to waste my time. Um, but it's still an interesting topic to me. If you're going to mess around with inflatables, like I talked about earlier, one of the keys is getting the correct length and quality ores. These are very good for the price. These are what I would recommend. They also, they're very, very light, and they're very portable because they fold into small spaces. I only wish I knew about this uh, Ultra Shine Car Wash and Car Wax by Armoral when I was a kid because I used to have to use a paste turtle wax that would dry in the sun and I'd be out there for hours. I can wash and wax my car in minutes with this. Excellent product, excellent price. If you have difficulty with your grout in your shower, I didn't even know these things existed. However, after using it, and it worked out rather well, I was thinking if you had a can of uh, bullseye white primer paint <laughs> and uh, maybe some antifungal chemical you could add to it in a very small paintbrush, you could paint your own <laughs> paint your own uh, grout without having to purchase this a lot cheaper I did a video of this on a uh, shower curtain so you never have to clean your shower again this is the last one I bought this to make some fishing lures last year and it's still on the project list a duck brand makes very good tape and many different uh, uh, colors and uh, patterns and so on and to even make one that shines like a mirror so guys I hope these videos were something you liked and enjoy and I put on new stuff every week been doing it for 16 years got over 1200 videos and this is a variety of channel you never know what you're going to have on next week because I never really know what I'm going to put on and got a bunch of playlists you might want to check out and want a bunch of people at the bottom of my feature no relation to me you might want to check them out too and like I said this has been Rob's Homey Life and hope this was something that you enjoyed and you come back lots more later alright guys take care and see you out there